options that he had. Was this a black guy, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Did he have bling, bling? Did he have 20s? Um, rolling up in his wheelchair. I just want to know. Maybe he had some spinner rims on it. They yeah. had some spinner <laughs> rims, man. He had some old caddy caps on them, the old tri tri just tri looking at the, Just looking at it. Uh, you know, I, I, I pimp out with my white balls. Did he have white balls on the, the <laughs> wheelchair? They didn't get cat. They didn't get into any detail on, on how tricked out the wheelchair actually was, but I'm thinking if he was able to roll out and get away, that maybe he had a NOS system on it. No, maybe he had the system from the little kid from Silver Bullet. Remember that freaking wheelchair he had in that movie? Absolutely. I've never seen that movie. What? He had this pimped out wheelchair where he hit the gas and he had nitrous on it. <laughs> Gone. Got away from the werewolf. Anyways, that's a horrible story. <laughs> Absolutely. But if he got away, give him a get out of free jail card, <laughs> I'd say. <laughs> you need some of those, don't you? <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm here today. <laughs> but not saying I'm, I'm on probation. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Now, Kat, I know you've spent some time in jail. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, look, when, when, you're, when you're in the pokey, mm -hmm. you're not able to uh, be privy to the resources that you normally would be. You, you, you don't have the, uh, the creature comforts that are normally at your disposal. So this woman's in jail, and her husband's sensitive to this. This is, occurs in Alabama. This man tries to smuggle some oxy in a McDonald's double cheeseburger that he dropped off at the local jail for his wife. Mm, uh, amazing, amazing. Let me touch upon that. Um, at one time at the airport, uh, as y'all know the story, I, I tried to smuggle in a gun, <laughs> and TSA got pimping. So this is what I want to say. We need to hire TSA and put them in a prison system. <laughs> well, it, when you, you, you smuggled? I thought you like accidentally took it on the plane, you said. Well, <laughs> well, you know, Pimpin yeah. had a dirty gun. Oh, oh no, that's not good, Scrub. I mean, my black folks know what a dirty gun is. Oh, yeah, it's a Scrub and gun, man. You get if oh. I'm going to shoot somebody, I'm not going to have a gun in my name. Come on, Pimpin. <laughs> Oh, man, that's just a, that's some trifle in action right here, dude. Now, you know what? Those are some words to live by, mm -hmm. by Cat Williams. You, you remember in the 80s they had the, the more you know segments? Remember do what do the, do do I'm thinking that should have been a Cat Williams, the more you know. The more you know, boo-boo. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Never bring a scrub gun into the airport. But, <laughs> but you, you bring TSA in, they, they will change up the prism system. I tell you, they will change it up because uh, they'll get you. Words to live by. Words by Cat to live Williams. by. The more you know by Cat Williams. Mm. We're now, we're talking about uh, what shirts not to wear when you're getting in trouble. But how about what poses not to take? Oh, yes, please, Nicole, if I could get another citrus implosion from you. Great the beer here at the ESB. The wonderful the Nicole, or lovely Nicole. The lovely Nicole. The lovely yes. Nicole. But, uh, th you know, there's certain moves you don't make. If you're going to get hammered drunk and you're in Florida. Hold on, Cat, don't. No, don't wave at her, please. She's not one of yours. She's mm -hmm. not going to be one of yours. I like it, big bone. <laughs> I mean, she's a working girl, Cap, but she's trying to work here. Oh, man. <laughs> I can work with it. I can work with it. No, no, no. <laughs> she's mine. She got a nice smile, too. <laughs> Come on the team, pimping. <laughs> well, guys, there's Joseph Masciarelli. This is a guy, 23-year-old, <laughs> intoxicated, and uh, he's arrested for intoxication and endangering the safety of others. This was... Saturday night at an intersection near Palm Harbor, near his home. He was wearing a red tank top and no pants while he's running around drunk. And as he's running around, he would stop on occasion, pose like Superman, expose himself, and urinate, and then start running again while he's peeing. Now, this happened in Florida? Of course it happened in Florida. Okay, I see that. Um, was he running around with a Confederate flag? That's all I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> he might have been. Gosh <laughs> knows it is Florida. <laughs> you know, because I, I, I drove over something with my pink Cadillac. Mm -hmm. um, I drove down I-4, and I, I seen that Confederate flag. So I just want to know, Pimpin' just want to know what type of superhero shirt that he had. It, well, actually, it was just a red tank top, but he kept making the Superman pose while he would stop, be naked from the waist down, so he was mm. porky-pigging it. 
He would mm-hmm. be naked from the waist down, take a take a whiz, mm-hmm. and then run off again while doing the Superman pose with his hands on his hips. Mm, so it was a, a white beat, a wife beater. Huh? It was, but it was red. Yes. Ah, well. So it looked like a used wife beater. Well, we could just call pimping super wife beater. <laughs> 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 now, isn't that the, the whole concept of the wife beater? Isn't that funny that we we use that term for every shirt, and that's like the number one thing people are pissed off about right now. Yeah, and right, yeah. they should be, but everybody's like, hey, you wearing your wife beater? You know, yeah, it's like, when they get arrested, they're, you know, for beating their wife, they're probably wearing something to that effect. Yeah, with like a spaghetti stain on it. Like or, 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 or the shirt yeah, says, yeah. I'm with stupid, and his wife's lying out on the floor all beat up. Right. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Earlier, we were talking to Eric Erwinson, the great writer for Tampa Tribune, and we were talking some hockey, and he was talking about you know, be careful when you sign the wrong long-term contract. Right. You brought up Mike Richards. You talking about marriage now? I think you're going for a marriage statement there, aren't you? No, I signed oh, that okay. long-term <laughs> contract, but thankfully <laughs> I, I put her on waivers okay. back right. in the day. <laughs> Very good. But, uh, <laughs> but I, I did a buyout clause. Literally, I bought her out. Oh. Literally. Mm. But well uh, I'm sure Cat Williams probably has some experience with buying them out, too, at times. Buying out the, 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 the hookers at times. <laughs> no. Um they play a player. They play a player. You know, uh, pimping does not have to pay. <laughs> no? Mm-mm. No, you've been keeping Absolutely. your ducats? You haven't had to disperse? Uh, no, no. He I puts it into his perm. <laughs> I mean, <coughs> sorry, cat. That's right, Pimpin. That's right. That's okay. You know the hair is luxurious. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know why you're hating on the hair. No, I this. love the hair. I man. love the hair, dude. Good. Little, little, little b- bring across the top, little part in the middle, little swoop on the side. I mean, baby. it fits perfectly in the hat. Yeah. I, I think me and Prince have the same hairdresser. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we need. Uh, you should start a school for pimps. Mm. Mm, that's not a bad idea. I'm uh, just saying. Maybe I, I need a stake in that. I got the word out. I, you know what? I'm coming out with my pimp T-shirt. Um, it's called. Big pimping, I think, therefore I am. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 I like it's a clever it. idea. Like it. Yeah, it's but we're talking about the Mike William, the, the Mike Richards contract. The, apparently, the uh, the Kings, the, the story was the Kings are, might not have to pay this contract in the buyout. Yeah, they said he violated it. The rumor is that the Royal Cana- Canadian Mounted Police eh? are pursuing a charge for trying to smuggle oxy the red coat. across the border. Well, it's got some knee problems, man. Give him a break. You know what I'm saying, eh? When you hurting for certain. Yeah. The red coats are coming. That's right. You're talking about the mounted police, right? The mounted police. Not, the not red coats. Not the 1976 or no, something. So you know, have you been to Canada, Cat? Um, it looks like they don't they don't let me in here. <laughs> no, no, really? <laughs> well, because you get a felony. Um, <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just. No. Um, mm, you're just guessing that you might have. You're, you're just guessing. Uh, allegedly. Yeah, mm, yeah. Allegedly, I, I have something going on. <laughs> Look, Cat, is your attorney. I'd say don't say any more, man. Don't answer any more questions Shut about that. So what, what do you, you want to know other than um, my client's um, criminal record? Oh, here. now you're his friggin' lawyer, Well, I'm dude. saying, somebody, you know, you can't be asking him <laughs> questions like that on he, the air. He's on my pimp legal team. That's I what am, he did. I, mm-hmm. I got, I got a, a green hat to go with it, man. Oh, shit. Absolutely, and some gators. Yes. Oh, now I'm laid gators. Now I'm laid gators yeah. all day. Oh, mm-hmm. you, get the, you get them, you get them get, uh, the alligator seats in your truck, got to sit down upon them and bite your butt. What, how's that go? Mm, absolutely, yeah. boy. You the got the alligator so alligator seats in the truck, and then you can sit it down up on them. We're gonna bite your butt. How's that? Oh, what's that? Who's dude? it? Who's it? Yeah, it got so baby from. Uh, oh, okay. No, wait, no. What's the, what's the no limit? So I don't know. You know all them crews, man. You know all them crews, baby. <laughs> you down, man. You down with you know? everybody, man. Uh, yeah. So yes, what's your plans this week in Tampa? What are you gonna do while you're here, man? Well, mm, Pimpin knows that you have a lot of. Nudie bars. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yes, we, we do. We, uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Are you are you taking some people? I'm just uh, asking. You know what? I may have my little entourage in. You got to watch out for that, though, don't you? You get I, too many, man. Uh, man, I, I like I said, um, see, pimping does not like to pay. They pay pimping. Right. You get that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, absolutely. Mm-hmm. You know, so um, I'm looking for some thick, big bones because, <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> you know. There you go. Because you know what? Because um, Pimp is gonna put on the, the, you know, on his team. Because you know, if you're big boned, you pay what you weigh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's right. That's you gotta right. pay what you weigh, baby. That's right. <laughs> I, you know what? I would like to join your school. I need to get the lingo down. I need to figure it out. See, the only problem I, I think that your school might be, you have to call it like pseudo pimping because I think pimping's still illegal, right? I mean, technically, technically illegal. I mean, I know you can you can play it on the street, but you, the actual 
Yeah, but you could you could have a you the financial a, gain you from pimping is illegal. You could call it a parody clause, right? Like they did with, yes. with dumb Starbucks. Exactly. You could call it pim pin hang easy. Right there, you go. I like I like where you're going because we got to keep it to where it's a school where you can learn this stuff. But we're not condoning any illegal activity at the same time, so we're not liable. Abs- right? Absolutely, absolutely. But um, I I have my people. They. Yeah, we're about the logistics of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very good. Mm-hmm. Very good. Yeah. Part of that pimping legal team. So, d- have you had any bad times with some of these ho- uh, <coughs> ladies you've been hanging out with? Um, I want to hear a bad story. <laughs> Everything's good with pimping. I must say, everything is good with pimping, and uh, mm, Florida is definitely showing me some love. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good. That's good. Mm-hmm. Wow. Oh, uh, is it with the great Cat Williams? How can the ladies not show him love? And look, we appreciate you. Showing the Cranial Mission show some love, Cat. We Hell appreciate yeah. you. I can't even believe you got my. You actually answered my message, and thank you That's for that. That's phenomenal. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. We're gonna keep it pimping. You're gonna keep it pimping here, man. Uh, y'all have been all that, and I've been Cat. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. <laughs> all right. Well, hopefully next time we got a limo for you. I know, I know, it wasn't well, quite. He's that got his own limo. Damn, look I, at I know, that but thing. we should send it ourselves. We're just we need to we need to step our game up a little. Is, bit. is this coming out of your budget, Joe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've been saying, yeah, you're you know, coming from your on the road but I've been saving all my money while I've been hitchhiking so we're good dude. I've been saving a lot of gas money well Kat thank Cash you so much for, uh, thank friend. you so much for being a part of the Cranial Mission show uh, we're, we're out of time we're uh, up against it here but look don't be a stranger next time you're in town make sure you, you, you come back and hang with us again and Got look, to. look I don't know what you're doing after the show but by the looks of these lovely associates of yours that are know, around what's up? we may want to hang with you if, if you're down absolutely Absolutely. All right. Hey, oh, we got the invite. Hey, hey, hey. People's going to show love hey. to everyone. Sweet D. Oh. Yeah, yeah, baby. I can throw my gators on. Nice. Oh, God. Mm. All right. Well, guys, we got to jump to a quick commercial break. All, All you craniacs. Yeah. When we get back, we've got two more segments left, so you two don't want to Two more miss segments it. left. I say it's 9 o'clock already. I say we just wrap this it up. No, man. We're only, uh, we're only an hour and 40 minutes, man. We, you, you, you can't. You can't rush well, let's go the process. Oh, I forget it was yeah. 9.30 today. Yeah, we started a half hour late. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. Uh, you're, right. trying, you, you're trying to curtail the, I the magic of the cranial mission show over here. Curtail it, I mean, yeah. uh, Biggie, I'm disappointed in you. Yeah, yes. You know what it is, Sancho? He's tired. No, you know what it is, Sancho. You no, know I'm why? not tired. You're tired. No, you know Jared? why, why Miggy's rushing it? Because now he's all excited about hanging out with Cat. Yeah, I know. I know. All right, all right, all right, all right. He's calling you out on this. Well, he's got the car out front. Look at him. Oh. We'll get it. We'll get, I'll tell you what. We'll get, we'll get him a couple of little crap Look at one of the horizontal stripes. Yeah, I know. I know. I was looking. Unbelievable. I was looking. All right. Well, guys, we're gonna jump to a <laughs> we're gonna jump to a quick commercial break. All you craniacs, stick around. We'll be right back after this. Wait, wait. Bang! Hold on. He didn't even tell me to put this on. I told you to play a damn commercial, Sanja. Me, you talk the computer. Hold Get on. Get it okay. together. Okay, buddy. go. All right. First, there was five hour energy, and then there was six. Now you can get a continuous forty eight hours of energy because cardiac arrest. Taking the energy drinks to a whole new level. Just one bottle has kept me up for days! Cardiac arrest contains a formula that was once only available to Chinese military personnel. You don't get that rundown feeling because you're never gonna come down! Cardiac arrest is making dieting a thing of the past. Don't worry about the calories because you're never gonna feel hungry! Cardiac arrest is gonna get your motor running. My bowels have been empty for weeks and I feel great! Look for cardiac arrest energy drinks at a flea market or fireworks stand near you. Comrade, are you a wealthy man like myself, afraid to commit a marriage, feel so you wind up in the courtroom next to Heather Mills? You work hard all your life, why you should forfeit half of your rubles if it doesn't work out, huh? At glorious five-year plan, mail order brides, you will not have to pay arm and leg if marriage crumbles like Soviet Republic! <laughs> My name is Boris Kuznetsov. I am previous owner of professional KHL hockey team in greatest league in the world. During my time as owner of Dimitrovgrad Dictator, I realized some of business principles found in sport could be applied to love life. In Russian KHL, if you invest in player who no longer perform, we let contract expire. We do not do the same in marriage. Why? 
A glorious five-year plan, mail order brides, we arranged union between shrewd single businessmen with eager young women from Eastern Europe. Take the lovely Svetlana from Siberia. This mobile 19-year-old farm girl is ready to please even the most elderly of men for rich Western lifestyle. After five years, her contract expires with renewal option. If she keeps icing the buck, she's out of luck, you know what I mean, huh? She don't want to go back to Siberia. It's as cold as walrus nipple. Or how about for you, blonde hair, blue eyed Katarina, who is a former Soviet gymnast who just got released from corrective labor camp after 10 year sentence for making Russian look.